In the early part of my career, I must say, I was very fortunate working with companies like Dell and Hewlett Packard. I was making really good money. I was traveling a lot. It was actually during one of these nights that I met Michaela, my wife, and that's kind of what predicated the move to Canada. I reached out to the company that I had previously worked with. They invited me back as VP of Sales for North America, and we landed here in Vancouver on a Saturday. On Tuesday, I got a call from the CEO. He says, you know, we're in the middle of a merger, and you've just been let go. It didn't take long in this city with this lifestyle, with these kind of expenses. Uh, the money was gone. We got stripped of everything. And I went into a, I, I can only describe it as a catatonic depression. I just believed my life was over and all I wanted to do was end it. And one afternoon I got a call from a guy. He said, hey, my name's Chuck Warner. We're launching a company and we need some horsepower. And they say that you're a guy that we should talk to. And so I got involved with him and we started running seminars. It was a great thing. And we were starting to say, hey, I think this is gonna work. And as we had that conversation, the phone rang. So I answered the phone and it was the CEO of this company. He said, well, we've grown so fast, we've outstripped our capital and we're declaring bankruptcy on Monday. And I hung up the phone and Michaela looked at me and she says, you're not getting paid again, are you? And I went, nope. And she says, we're done. This was it. This was our last chance. This was our last hope. You know, they're, they're, they're coming for the rest of it now. We needed that cash that this opportunity was going to bring. And I looked at her and I said, you know, I think we're going to be all right. And as I spoke those words, I literally floated out of my body and all of a sudden I was given this vision of me standing on a stage with literally thousands of people in front of me. That night we went to bed about three o'clock in the morning. This tower of white light fell through the ceiling into my sleeping body and surrounded me. And I'll never forget it. Here's what this tower of white light said to me that night. I've given you incredible gifts and I've given you incredible talents and all these years you've done nothing with them. I want you to give hope and courage to those that have lost it but don't know where to find it. But you'll never touch their hurting hearts if you've never felt their kind of pain. Go back to bed. I love you. You're going to be okay. And if you just fast forward five and a half months at 10.30 in the morning and this voice goes off in my ear and says, today I want you to go to church. So I drove to this church that I didn't even ex know existed 10 minutes earlier and Pastor Dave, I didn't know it was Pastor Dave, this guy came out dressed in a suit, you know, and he says, you know, church family, he says, I've got a message of great hope and encouragement for all of you today. And I want to tell you the story of Jabez. What God is trying to teach us through Jabez is that he loves you and he already knows you. He wants to know, are you ready to know him? And so, you know, so he, you know, at the end of every service, Pastor Dave will pray. He says, this Sunday morning, I opened up my heart and he came to a dead stop. And he just looked out to the audience and says, the Holy Spirit has come and spoken with me. And there's somebody here today and I need to speak with you, sir. He said, God wants you to know that you had an experience in your living room six months ago that was so strange and so bizarre that you don't know how to share it with anybody, so you haven't. And he wants you to know that it was actually him that came into your bedroom that same night. And Pastor Dave from the stage, I had never met him before. I, I don't know anybody in this church. He says, here's what he said to you. He says, he's given you incredible gifts and he's given you incredible talents. He wants you to give hope and courage to those that have lost it but don't know where to find it. And God wants you to know one more thing. God wants you to know that every word that came out of my mouth, God put in my mouth for your ears. And all he wants to know is, are you ready to know him? I just remember I looked up and I said, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not really sure who you are and I'm not even sure what you want. If all I got to do is open my heart and ask you, okay, that's what I want to do right now. And I just sat on the back road. I said, all right, God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask you to show me a better way. And that's literally how we ended up at Coastal and through Coastal found out who God really is, who Jesus really is. He's more than a good idea. He is my best friend and I walk with him every day.